fish girl. Is it fish or is it girl? See for yourself. A dog with two bodies and one <laughs> It's a project at NC State, and this is our third year doing it at the fair. It's called the North Carolina Language and Life Project. What we do is we research language change in North Carolina. We look at how different people speak in different parts of the state, how they form their words, what words they use, and that sort of thing. Like my brother who's a redneck and talks like yep. That's mm -hmm. really how he talks too, yep. when you have to get two syllables in a one-syllable word. Right. Uh, Right. And I don't speak this that. is <laughs> in the linguistics department. They've done a lot of research on different dialects in North Carolina, and and gotten a lot of useful information. And so, what we're trying to do now is get back to the community and get get information out there, educate folks on their dialects and on different dialects that we have. It means broken, like when you stand like this. <laughs> And uh, the anecdote that I can share is that uh, I used to have a, a, a real country Rutherford County accent. Um, my freshman year of high school, my English teacher uh, told me that if I ever wanted to go anywhere in the world, that I needed to lose the accent. So that's why I sound like a Midwesterner now. I think it's cool to find out as far as like how language has evolved over time. Like where it's good to know like where we come from. It's part of who we are as people, how we talk. It's very cultural. I work for the, uh, for the Wildlife Resource Commission, so we, we answer a lot of different phone calls from, from Murphy to Manny. I mean, everybody in between. Uh, and usually, folks, whenever they start their conversation, and I can sort of pick out just about in a two or three county radius of where they're from, just by their, their accent. I heard somebody do, uh, somebody say when I was on the phone that they were, there's certain situation that they were mama. So, you know, I knew exactly where they were from. I mean, they, they were either from, you know, right around uh, 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 Onslow, Craven, Carteret, mostly Carteret County, if you say that, or Ocracoke. Actually, being from Jersey, we used to travel down south yeah, every going to summer. North Kakalaki. So we said that we were going to North Kakalaki or South Kakalaki. You know, so for yeah, us, was that was funny. normal. But and that's like all up and down the East Coast. That's what it's known as. Right. You know, I like this one. Hablo español. Okay. That to oh, yeah. me was like, it was cool when we came down here because in New Jersey we have a lot of Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and like when we came here everybody was like Mexican, you know? So yeah. it was just like, we, it was easier for me to interact with the Hispanics here because I was already surrounded by Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and we spoke differently, but it just felt more comforting to be around people that kind of sounded like me or, you know, <laughs> I know right? understood me. And we can relate to. Uh, Betty Rowe is one that I grew up with. Uh, hadn't heard that one in a while because I grew up in Clinton. Uh, and you know, you just walk by somebody and say, oh, Buddy Rowe, <laughs> your buddy, good friend. I chose Bless Your Heart because that's one that we hear a lot where I live. Well, just bless your heart. I'm a preschool teacher, you know, when the grandmas come in and pick their kids up. Oh, bless your heart for taking care of my baby. <laughs> it's like, I wish you well. It's a term kind of endearment, of yeah. That's like, yeah, it's good. It basically means you're getting ready to say something negative about somebody, but bless your heart makes it okay. It softens the blow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you get talking about how pitiful somebody is, bless their heart, they just are so stupid, or they're just so sad, or <laughs> whatever, bless their heart. <laughs> something bad. <laughs> My ag teacher used to say that all the time whenever uh, one of the students who were just, they're just goofing off and they're like, bless that child's heart. He, just, <laughs> he needs to, he needs to go. <laughs> I speak North Carolina correctly. <laughs> no, no problem with that. And I'm not from the uh, outer back, so I'm a ding batter. Which I think it's hilarious. I'm gonna send these to my sisters. I may wear, I'll wear them right there. <laughs> I'll send them to my sisters. You get on the coast, and just like the button said, I picked up. You know, you're a ding batter. Now, you know, if you're not from around here, you may not know what a ding batter is. 
you know, or did not, you know, that type of thing. Did not somebody from off the island. I think I saw, talk Southern. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm so used to hearing Southern accents. All, most of my friends are from North Carolina or from somewhere in the South. So I'm so used to hearing it, I think I sound like my friends. And when I tell them that, they just think I'm crazy. They said, no, you're a Yankee and you'll always be a Yankee. Bless your heart, you're not from North Carolina. <laughs> River, Aradel, uh, Yawari, and Saxophapaha. Um, <laughs> my favorite thing about North Carolina is our culture and our love for other folks. Okay. Great. I didn't Thank do you. Very well at all.